Two city councilors who helped get rid of Albuquerque's red light cameras are asking city administrators to rush a study to ensure the streets will be safe once they're turned off for good. But getting the answers they want does not appear to be possible. News 13's Crystal Gutierrez reports. In less than a month and a half, the contract for the red light cameras in Albuquerque will expire and the cameras will be gone. A wish made by voters that councilors granted. But now two councilors are asking for insurance that the streets will remain safe. I believe that once those cameras are gone and people know those cameras are no longer at these intersections, people will once again be running red lights. Councilors Ken Sanchez and Dan Lewis are proposing big changes for every intersection in the city, extending yellow or red light times to ensure intersections are cleared before the light turns green again. You may not have even noticed, but the city is already doing this at 20 intersections. Most have increased their yellow light times by half a second. Two have increased red light times. At Central and Coors, all traffic lights stay on red for more than two and a half seconds now. The pilot program began in January after a traffic study completed a year ago. Within the red light camera study that UNM conducted, there was one section of it that said that they, they had identified by extending yellow times could improve or may improve safety at some traffic intersections. The city says they believe it is making the streets safer, but they can't be sure until the data is in and a study is complete. Sanchez and Lewis want that study, and they want it before the red light camera contract expires. That's not really feasible for the, the reasons I said before. We, we really need, when you're collecting traffic data, is to have a full year's worth of data to look at to remove any anomalies. The city says it would do no good to compare summer traffic with winter traffic. The program will wrap up in December, then it will take another four months before UNM compiles the data and issues another report. Sanchez says by then, the red light cameras would have been turned off for more than three months. I don't think we can wait that long. Crystal Gutierrez, KRQE News 13. According to Municipal Development Director Michael Reardon, the extended yellow and red light times will remain in effect until that study is complete. The councilor's resolution demanding the full study has yet to be voted on by the full city council. It's not just